गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू गल्फ ऑयल प्रेजेंट ट्रांस इंडिया रियल पीपल रियल इमोशंस सेलिब्रेटिंग 75 फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ अशोक लेलैंड वे बैक इन 1948, मिस्टर रघुनंदन सरन एस्टैब्लिश्ड अशोक मोटर्स इन चेन्नई लेटर अशोक मोटर्स एंड लेलैंड ऑफ यूके अग्रीड टू कोलैबोरेट एंड द कंपनी इज नाउ वॉट वी नो एस अशोक लेलैंड over the years ashok leland has grown by leaps and bounds not just in terms of volumes but also in terms of technology the company has kept pace with changing times and has not just adapted to the requirements as per government norms but has innovated through its extensive r&d expertise as well as based on suggestions by the customers needless to say Ashok Leland has some die-hard customers who swear by the brand. Earlier this month, Ashok Leland celebrated its 75th year. Where else but in Chennai? The event was attended by the Minister of Road Transport and Highways, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, Dr. T R B Raja, Department of Industry, Tamil Nadu, dignitaries from the United Kingdom and Congo, the Hinduja family, and of course. the staff dealers financiers and customers of ashok leland it was a busy day earlier in the day the company launched the iev series electric light commercial vehicles from switch mobility the company also signed lois with customers and dealers for the same addressing the gathering at the launch this is what dheeraj hinduja had to say Today as you heard is a very momentous day for all of us as we celebrate 75 years for Ashok Leyland. This has been a journey packed with achievements, significant milestones that we have reached. We have during these years dreamt, innovated and brought to life products and solutions in anticipation of the evolving customer needs. digitization and an emphasis on sustainability are the current trends in the mobility sector at switch steered by a commitment to green energy we are leading the way into the brave new world take our recently launched electric double decker for every eiv 22 that flies on the roads of mumbai it takes 28 to 35 combustion engine cars off the city streets that's a substantial benefit our ambitions are global with an established presence in the uk and now in india with over 750 buses in operation we will soon be entering the eu market with our brand new developed ev1 ae1 bus Today we are launching the IEV series or intelligent EV light commercial vehicle which is the forerunner of our next generation commercial mobility and it will take it will have a key role to play in the decarbonization of the transportation sector studies have shown that last mile emissions account for at least half of the e-commerce sectors overall carbon footprint the iev series which reduces emissions in the mid mile and last mile transportation of the fmcg and e-commerce sectors in particular will thus play a pivotal role in paving the way to the establishment of a carbon neutral last mile logistics network the alternate propulsion portfolio that we are building is designed to be a disruptor commercially and will also help us in our sustainability mission along with the iev series we are also proud to showcase the new 9 meter hydrogen fuel cell electric bus developed for ntpc this is india's first fuel cell bus that will commercially ply on the country's roads along with this we are also exhibiting the country's first hydrogen internal combustion engine truck which was earlier launched in collaboration with reliance industries we have accorded 
the utmost importance to environmental, social, and governance in all our operations. Zero at 100 is the theme for our sustainability mission. That is, we are aiming to realize net zero by the time Ashok Leyland is in its 100th year. Ashok Leyland's 75-year journey is a story of transformation and innovation. As we celebrate this milestone, we look ahead to the future with excitement and determination to renew our pledge to further shape the future of the commercial vehicle industry. We have set our sights on pioneering sustainable transportation solutions and aim to support India's economic development for years to come, as well as in the EU and other markets supported by our presence in the UK. We believe opportunities are boundless and our aspirations are high. As we now say in Ashok Leyland, koi manzil tu nahi, no dream too far. Later in the evening, Ms. Anitin Gadkari flagged off a series of vehicles from Ashok Leyland based on alternate fuels. Coming up after this very short break, more on the flag off and the grand celebrations. You are watching Kranz India, presented by Gulf Oil, celebrating 75 years of Ashok Leyland. एक लड्डू लाइयो अब गल्फ का इंजन ऑयल हमेशा अपने साथ क्यों रखते हो क्योंकि ये मेरे ट्रक के इंजन की सुरक्षा करता है इस बार ना हम भी आपको राखी पे कुछ देना चाहते हैं ये किस लिए जब आप हफ्तों अकेले बाहर रहते हैं तब हम नहीं होते ना आपके साथ ये हमेशा आपके साथ रहेगा अब जहाँ जाइएगा फिल्टर वाला पानी ही पीजिएगा गल्फ सुपर फ्लीट वचन सुरक्षा का यदि आपको ट्रांसपोर्टर लाइन का अनुभव है और अपने शहर में सफल ट्रांसपोर्टर बनने की इच्छा है तो ट्रैक ट्रांसपोर्ट मार्केट एक ऐसा मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन है जो आपके ट्रांसपोर्ट व्यवसाय को तेजी से नया मुकाम देने के लिए तैयार किया गया है ट्रैक ट्रांसपोर्ट मार्केट मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन आपके लिए भारत के सभी ट्रांसपोर्ट एजेंसी ऐसी जुड़ने का मौका प्रदान करता है वह भी केवल उन्तीस हजार में भारत के ट्रांसपोर्ट नेटवर्क में भागीदार बने अधिक जानकारी के लिए कॉल करे नाइन फाइव नाइन फाइव नाइन धन्यवाद वेलकम बैक टू ट्रांस इंडिया प्रेजेंटेड बाय गल्फ ऑयल सेलिब्रेटिंग सेवेंटी फाइव इयर्स ऑफ अशोक लीलेंड With pollution levels rising across the country, the government has been very stringent with emission norms. We have heard Mr. Gadkari say time and again that manufacturers and customers must do away with conventional fuels, especially diesel, and switch to alternate fuels. Ashok Leyland has been working on a few options, right from electric vehicles to vehicles driven on LNG, hydrogen, and others. Therefore, it was only befitting. to launch the latest range of alternate fuel vehicles during the 75th year celebrations the flag off of the vehicles was done by mr nitin gadkari along with mr dheeraj hinjuja the flag off of the vehicles was done by mr nitin gadkari along with mr dheeraj hinjuja and other members of the hinjuja family and ashok leyland management what we are seeing here is the flag off ceremony later in the evening Ashok Leyland had lined up a grand event that was attended by thousands of people 
which included special guests, former leading staff members, current staff members of Ashok Leyland, dealers, financiers, customers and others. The evening started by a glimpse capturing the 75-year journey of Ashok Leyland.
Once again, Chairman of the group, Mr. Dheeraj Hinduja, addressed the gathering, and this is what he had to say. As we all know, Sri Gadkari ji has been driving an unprecedented transformation in construction of highways across India, leading to significant improvement in the efficiency of the road transport sector. Under his leadership, the extent of highways has more than doubled in the last nine years. He has been a relentless advocate of electric and other clean energy vehicles. Dr. Raja has been driving vigorously the growth of industrial landscape of Tamil Nadu. We are fortunate to have the presence of these two dynamic and inspirational leaders on this momentous occasion. You had an opportunity to see the exhibition and may have noticed that Ashok Leyland's story is in many ways synonymous with India's story. Founded in 1948, the company has played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of passenger and cargo mobility. And today, it stands tall as a symbol of innovation, excellence, and sustainability. Today is a very special day for us as we celebrate a 75-year journey that is packed with significant achievements. We have always envisioned and positioned products and solutions in anticipation of emerging customer needs. We have been in the forefront of indigenous development of contemporary and evolving technologies. The company's recent range of heavy-duty and light-duty trucks have seen phenomenal success. Recognizing the importance of extending financial support to the customer, Ashok Leyland launched the vehicle financing business through an entity Ashok Leyland Finance and followed up subsequently with Hinduja Leyland Finance, both of which have made a mark in the business. We have also been in the forefront of digital transportation revolution with our telematics and other customer-centric aftermarket solutions including e-marketplace for use trucks. Beyond our conventional product portfolio, we have taken big, bold steps to develop and launch electric vehicles with operations in India and the UK. Several hundred of switch electric buses are running successfully on the roads of the UK and in India. In fact, we cherish that our latest generation of electric double-decker buses offered to BEST were flagged off by Sri Gadkariji and we're equally honored today that he has unveiled our new electric light truck, which will be on the road in the next few months. We are also developing vehicles that are based on alternate fuels, such as methanol and hydrogen. We are determined to replicate our established commercial vehicle leadership in the clean energy vehicle range as well. You would have, been, you would have seen on display our hydrogen fuel cell and hydrogen ice vehicles developed with NTPC and Reliance Industries respectively. As we journey through our 75 years into an exciting new future, we have set a new aspiration, a new purpose, and a new set of values to power this journey. Our tagline of Koi Manzil Dul Nahi reflects our new brand identity. Ashok Leyland has the vision of being in the global top 10 commercial vehicle league. The vision may seem audacious, but I am convinced more than ever that with the availability of the abundant internal talent and our commitment towards cost leadership, we will definitely get there. The alternate propulsion portfolio that we are building is designed to be a disruptor commercially. Our aim is to ensure that we build an Indian multinational that will alter the current equilibrium in the commercial vehicle industry. To start with, we are already among the global top five bus manufacturers, and it is only a matter of time that we go into overdrive with our trucks as well. As a responsible and responsive cooperation, 
we have accorded utmost importance to environmental, social, and governance in our operation. Zero at 100 is the theme for our sustainability mission. That is, we are aiming to realize net zero by the time Ashok Leyland is in its 100th year. Diversity in all forms is at the core of our HR strategy. A high point is an all-women engine line in our Hosul plant. And this will be followed by similar uh, plants in our other factories as well. Amongst the various social initiatives, our Road to School program has been impactful in enabling close to 200,000 disadvantaged children obtain access to quality education and holistic development. Our Jaljeevan initiative provides clean drinking water to the needy communities. In our growth so far, our vendors, our dealers, and customers have always supported our operations, and I would like to thank them all for being an integral part of our growth. And I'm positive that this association will continue for many more years. I would also like to acknowledge the unstinted support from our shareholders, the board of directors, investors, bankers, financial institutions, and various central and state government agencies, and our trade union. Once again, I would like to thank Sri Gadkariji and Dr. Raja and all the distinguished guests for taking the time to celebrate our 75th anniversary. Thank you very much. Coming up after this very short break, Speeches of Dr. T.R.B. Raja and the visionary Mr. Nitin Gadkari. You are watching Trans India presented by Gulf Oil, celebrating 75 years of Ashok Leland. एक ही लड्डू लाइयो अब गल्फ का इंजन ऑयल हमेशा अपने साथ क्यों रखते हो क्योंकि ये मेरे ट्रक के इंजन की सुरक्षा करता है इस बार ना हम भी आपको राखी पे कुछ देना चाहते हैं ये किस लिए जब आप हफ्तों अकेले बाहर रहते हैं तब हम नहीं होते ना आपके साथ ये हमेशा आपके साथ रहेगा अब जहाँ जाइएगा फिल्टर वाला पानी ही पीजिएगा गल्फ सुपर फ्लीट वचन सुरक्षा का मित्रों भारत के सभी ट्रांसपोर्ट कमीशन एजेंट और ट्रक ओनर्स को एक अद्भुत मौका मिल रहा है अब आप ट्रैकेट ट्रांसपोर्ट मार्केट में फ्रेंचाइजी पार्टनर बन सकते हैं वह भी केवल उनतीस हजार पाँच सौ रूपए में हाँ दोस्तों आपने सही सुना अब आपके पास एक शानदार और लाभदायक मौका है जो आपके ट्रांसपोर्ट कारोबार को एक नई ऊंचाई प्रदान करेगा इतना ही नहीं ट्रैकेट ट्रांसपोर्ट मार्केट ऐसी आपको एक्सेलेंसी और ब्रांड वैल्यू का लाभ भी मिलेगा जो आपके ट्रांसपोर्ट आयाम को मजबूत करेगा इसे सेवा को लाभदायक बनाने के लिए अभी अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन करें अधिक जानकारी के लिए कॉल करें डबल नाइन थ्री जीरो डबल नाइन फाइव नाइन फाइव नाइन आपका कीमती समय देने के लिए धन्यवाद Welcome back to Trans India presented by Gulf Oil celebrating 75 years of Ashok Leyland Ashok Leyland has had close ties with the United Kingdom and there was a special message from the Prime Minister of UK Mr Rishi Sunak which was read out at the event Later Dr TRB Raja addressed the gathering and this is what he had to say Chairman of Hinduja Group to Kapitan Hinduja we could not, unfortunately, join us today, but he is here with us in spirit. The Chairman of Hinduja Europe through Prakash P. Hinduja, the Chairman of Hinduja India through Ashok P. Hinduja, Chairman of Ashok Leyland through Tiraj Hinduja, and MD and CEO of Ashok Leyland, Rishen Agarwal, my beloved friend, Oliver Borhach, from uh, the Deputy High Commissioner of 
the UK, Madam Ambassador from the Congo, the members of the Ashok Leland family, employees of past and present. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be here on this great occasion. First of all, let me congratulate the entire Ashok uh, Leland family and the Hinduja family for achieving this immense achievement. 75 years, 75 years of toil, 75 years of hard work, 75 years of perseverance, 75 years of innovation, and, and much, much more than that is what makes a company strive so long, get all the way to 75 years and still thrive along strongly. So I must say, hats off to, him, to the Hinduja family for pulling this off and, and, and the biggest congratulations must go to the amazing, amazing workers that the Ashok Leland family has been blessed with. So congratulations to everyone. As India awoke, as I said, 1947, close to that, 1948, Ashok Leland began its, its journey as Ashok Motors in Chennai. So it's good to see that Ashok Leland has stuck to Chennai, to Tamil Nadu, and is continuing to invest, reinvest in Tamil Nadu, and has shown immense, immense trust in the value, in the talent that's available in Tamil Nadu. So thank you, Ashok Leland, for that. Since then, it has grown by leaps and bounds, both economically and as a family. Um, today, Ashok Leland's market cap is around 55,000 crores. That's a huge task, and then they're employing about 10,000 people in, uh, uh, and many in Tamil Nadu. It has collaborated with others at the global level, illustrating the fact that everybody benefits from the globalization and sharing ideas. It has become a global player of repute, a world leader in uh, many sectors, it especially is the second largest manufacturer of commercial vehicles, it's the third largest manufacturer of buses in the world, and the tenth largest manufacturer of trucks all over the world. And especially, the, the, all these numbers, when you hear about a company coming from India, and especially from Tamil Nadu, it makes all of us extremely proud. So, and when, I, when, I, and when I saw that uh, first Austin made an Enor, uh, beautiful beauty that was standing there, I had to take myself away from the Honorable Minister and just gawk at the beautiful uh, machine that they made way back in 1949. I, 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 why don't you just relaunch that beauty again? <laughs> it looks stunning even now. And I must say, your, your bus, uh, the, many of us here and many of my friends, we all have fond memories of the double-decker buses that used to fly all over Chennai. So that beauty that we used to have then, they're no longer available. But then, I think uh, something of that, of that vintage beauty needs to be restored back in Tamil Nadu, in the streets of Chennai also. And I'm, I'm, I'm urging uh, the Leyland, uh, the Ashok Leyland group to bring it back to Chennai also. Um, while that be the case, they've, they've come long, a long way and they've started innovation with amazing machines that I've seen all parked all over this place. That, I must say, I was totally involved in looking at all your amazing uh, fuel cell tech and, and, and the LNG tech, safeguarded by the CNG, uh, back up by the CNG, um, and the EV, uh, the completely electric trucks that you've driven. It's, I must say, this whole level of innovation that Ashok Leland has been bringing into the, uh, the commercial vehicle sector is one, it's going to be one key. Um, domain for the entire nation and this is something which is going to change the course of the nation. So I must say when everyone knows that uh, the, the, the economy of India runs on Le Leyland mostly. So I think in that way Ashok Leyland almost moves India. So uh, that in itself is a huge, huge thing. Uh, so if you lay off the Ashok Leyland fleet for a day, I'm sure the, 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 the economy will feel a huge dent. So that's the kind of impact the Ashok Leyland family has had on the nation. So I'm extremely happy that you're going the green way. Tamil Nadu is the greenest state in India and we want to see all kinds of green efforts happen in this state. All of this has been the story of India as well. We started as a country with a long way to go, with a lot of challenges, but today we have grown so much as a country, as a people, we can world leaders in technology and prepared for the future just like Ashok Leyland. That was Dr. T.R.B. Raja addressing the gathering at the event. And now it was the turn of the man.
everyone wanted to listen to mr nitin gadkari mr gadkari has been spearheading the automobile and highway sectors in india and both have made phenomenal progress in the last few years here are excerpts of mr gadkari's address the 75 years of great history remarkable history and most important thing the way in which they contribute in the indian economy that is to be most important thing which is related with the futuristic technology and concerning with the automobile industry it is really a great thing for all of us that the success story of ashok lela and hindu ja family is very important we are the fastest growing country in the world now and the automobile sector is the most important sector which is very important and presently i am related with this sector that the reason that i can understand what is the importance of this sector in the country i am giving my special congratulations to ashok leland and hinduja family for their great success and also the promoters employees dealers and stakeholders for this great success i am really happy that constantly ashok leland is doing excellent job in the field of innovations excellence sustainability for this for our country i always tell it the people two important philosophies one is knowledge to wealth the innovation entrepreneurship science technology research skill and successful practices we name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future and the most important philosophy that second philosophy is no material is waste and no person is waste it is depending upon the appropriate technology it is depending upon the appropriate vision of the leadership that you can convert waste into wealth i am really happy that automobile industry is the most important industry for the country actually this is a growth engine for indian economy the most important thing that this industry is the most important industry which is giving maximum gst to the state and central government this is the industry which is giving employment of 4 crore 50 lakhs young talented youth of our country and that is the reason that this is the important industry for the growth of our country i am really happy that today the way in which ashok leland is doing research development and launching of new models i am really happy because 2004 i am constantly pursuing about the alternative fuel our present import of the fossil fuel is 16 lakh crores and that is to be really a big problem for the country because of the pollution it's a economic problem but at the same time it creating lot of pollution in the country the three important pillars of the indian society is ethics economy ecology and environment and regarding ecology and environment as a road minister we are making lot of roads i am responsible for increasing the manufacturing of automobile in the country but sometime i feel guilty conscious because because of the fossil fuel we are creating more pollution i am also giving my special congratulations to hinduja group and ashok lela in bangalore we have successfully implemented the program pilot project by adding 15% methanol on ashok lela and buses at that day i got opportunity to launch the methanol truck from ashok lela we can make methanol from the low quality coal and the coal is available in the country even in the coal mine area in the mining area we can use methanol truck the assam petroleum is making 600 ton of methanol per day and even in the deepak fertilizer and rcf in mumbai they are making methanol and my dream is to start methanol trucks and buses in the country by which we can reduce the import of diesel at the same time successfully it is recommended by ari that we can add 15% methanol in diesel then we can save the import of the diesel 
and diesel is hazardous and creating more pollution. Now in the electric buses, I will request the Hinduja group and Ashok Leland that we have just tendered for 10,000 buses for electric. Now I got offer to launch electric bus from Ashok Leland in Mumbai, double decker bus. To running bus on the diesel for best in Mumbai, the cost is coming 115 rupees per kilometer. And the electric cost, actually previously when we received the tender, for non-AC bus it was 39 rupees per kilometer and for AC bus it was only 41 rupees per kilometer. But now without considering the subsidy, this cost will come only 60 rupees per kilometer. So this is going to be import substitute, cost effective and pollution free. I am assuring you, there is a great requirement of these buses in the country. Now we are making good roads. Now people are traveling in the country. We are developing 36 Green Express Highway. We are connecting Chennai to Delhi. And actually I am telling you that before coming to this program, I was taking the review of our project from Chennai to Bangalore. In the end of this year, in the first January, in the January month, we will start Bangalore Chennai Express Highway, where time period will be only two hours. So you can launch luxury buses, sleeper coach buses on electric. And just like business class, people will enjoy that. And you can reduce the ticket rate by 30%. Because the fuel cost is very less. The potential for public transport is very important. Again, I will request Mr. Ashokji, we are making electric highway, cable highway from Delhi to Jaipur. After the peripheral road of the Delhi, then the near after Panipat, we are making green express highway connecting to Delhi airport. Presently on that road, it could taking two hours, but we have just within four months, we are going to inaugurate that road. It will be only 15 to 20 minutes. And by 30 minutes, you will be on Delhi Mumbai Express Highway and it will be two hours from Delhi to Jaipur with electric highway. The cable will be there. So my request to you that already your friends and your competent, they are already in the process of starting manufacturing of trolley bus. There are two or three. And where we are going to launch in Nagpur in my own constituency already and Delhi to Jaipur that is to be a big requirement in the country by which we can reduce the capital cost because the lithium ion battery, the cost of the bus is very high. By making electric highway, we can reduce the cost of battery and where you can reduce the cost of truck and buses. The idea is taking load, taking the uh, load from the Delhi to Jaipur by e-highway, we can reduce the logistic cost. Presently, it's a big problem in Indian economy that our logistic cost is coming 14 to 16 percent. And now, the China, the cost is 8 to 10 percent and European countries, it is 12 percent. So after making this change in fuel and e-cable highway, I am confident that up to the end, within three to four years, we want to reduce the logistic cost into single digit up to 9 percent by which we will be more competitive in the international market and it will be helpful for us to create more exports. I am giving my all best wishes to all stakeholders of Ashok Leyland and Hinduja family. I am closely associated with the family. I know that the way in which they are taking initiative in the different fields, but the atom oil field is very, very important for, the, for the India and that is the reason that the way in which you are planning for the futuristic technology, the day will come that your industry is not going to create more employment potential, but your industry is going to create wealth for the country. I am giving my all best wishes to all of you, all the stakeholders. I am really happy and giving special recognition and giving my thanks for your 75 years of success, Amruta Mahotsav. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Vanakkam.
it has been a long and inspirational journey from Ashok Leland and the celebrations did just its it has been a long and inspirational journey from Ashok Leland and the celebrations did justice to the journey with the presence of so many stakeholders for the last few years mr dheeraj hinduja has been spearheading the company which has made significant progress in volumes living up to the expectation of the customers and the changing nature of transportation business it was little surprise that mr dheeraj hinduja was adjudged the cv man of the year last year the company now has its eyes set on the 100th year where it aims to go carbon neutral we'll continue to track the journey and progress of ashok leland but next week we will be back with another exciting interaction you have been watching trans india presented by gulf oil celebrating 75 years of ashok leland until next week stay safe and drive safe jai hind are एक ही लड्डू लाइयो आप गल्फ का इंजन ऑयल हमेशा अपने साथ क्यों रखते हो क्योंकि ये मेरे ट्रक के इंजन की सुरक्षा करता है इस बार ना हम भी आपको राखी पे कुछ देना चाहते हैं ये किस लिए जब आप हफ्तों अकेले बाहर रहते हैं तब हम नहीं होते ना आपके साथ ये हमेशा आपके साथ रहेगा अब जहाँ जाइएगा फिल्टर वाला पानी ही पीजिएगा गल्फ सुपर फ्लिट वचन सुरक्षा का ट्रैकेट क्या है ट्रैकेट एक अनुकूलन और ऑनलाइन बुकिंग पोर्टल है जो भारत के पूरे ट्रांसपोर्ट सेक्टर को आपस में जोड़ता है ये बिजनेस को आसान और सुरक्षित बनाने के लिए विभिन्न सेवाओं की पेशकश करता है ट्रैकेट बड़े और छोटे ट्रांसपोर्टर्स के बीच कोई मध्यस्थता नहीं करता है और उन्हें आपस में सीधे जोड़ता है अधिक जानकारी के लिए कॉल करे नाइन Do you want to take your transport business on autopilot mode where systems and processes do the work for you then learn track at transport market immediately and connect with more than 1000 transport network of india for more information call 9930995959 thank you for giving your valuable time